I know the season's barely begun and none of us really have much to do yet, but I'm curious, what has the CAD team been up to for this first week of build season? In the first week of build season, we've been working on CADing the intakes for the robot, the shooter, experimenting with different types of wheel grippiness. And right now we're CADing a frisbee because all of the real models on the first websites are inaccurate, just like the fields. So the CAD team in general, what we do is we kind of model after the build season, but we've started to make a change, I guess, towards modeling on CAD before we actually build. So what you can see right here is actually our intake, but it's 4.0 and it's still in the works. We're not done with it yet. But um, we generally make models like this of our prototypes, and then people go into the shop and they build the prototypes. And would you consider this an advantage, having it catted out first? See, like, when you cad things out, like, you can actually visualize things before you actually put things together, and then you realize, oh, I drilled a hole where I wasn't supposed to. So you can get a lot of accurate measurements, and you can figure out what you want where before you actually implement it all. So it's very helpful. Yeah. Well, thank you. So for this part of the mechanical build team, we've been working on the intake system on this year's robot. And we've been looking at using Bainbot wheels and a steel shaft and a, and a kind of a plate on the bottom in order to pick up the frisbees off the ground. And so we made a working model, and if you want to watch them, please do it. Wow. So is this the only prototype that you guys have of this, or is like the most successful one? Uh, this is the best prototype we have so far. We've worked on a few of them, well, I think this is our second one, but so far this one's working pretty well, so we're just going to keep working with this idea now. Hey, so I'm here with Ben, and he's going to let us know what animation is up to for the second week of build season. Okay, so the um, Autodesk competition doesn't actually happen anymore, but we're more or less under new management now. We're working with the media team to make the mobile museum. So we're making little characters and parts for um, short animations that'll teach kids that we uh, show the mobile museum to all about, um, I guess, the sort of the work we do and mechanical parts. Yeah, that's really exciting. So, what have you got here so far? Uh, this is Sparky. He's going to be sort of the mascot for the Mobile Museum. What, what can Sparky do? Well, I guess he can wave. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got him. I've got him to a point where he can pretty much move in whatever way. And here, I'll just open up a short little animation of him waving. That's really cute. Where did you get the design for Sparky from? Uh, Mr. Ostro actually, using his cartoonist skills, drew up all the uh, characters we're going to be making. That's really cool. All right, well, thank you. So, Lil Bear, what do you think of the game Ultimate Ascent? Well, when they first introduced it, I kind of had this moment where I sort of said to myself, like, what is first thinking? Um, because Frisbees produce a challenge that we've never really had with any other sort of game piece because we've always had a sort of uh, circular or you know, spherical game piece and the Frisbee sort of puts that on a two-dimensional plane. With uh, old teams, I mean, like us, we've been doing this for however long and um, we know how to throw a ball, but we have absolutely no idea how to throw a Frisbee. We'll and figure it out. Yeah, that's, that's the great part. It's, yeah. it's the experience of saying, all right, how can we possibly go about this? And all the ideas that we've seen have been really cool and um, kind of done all the things that we've needed in different ways. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Free! Yeah.